Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Dell G15 5520 Gamer. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your solid state drive. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip the computer over to access our bottom case screws. Now there's three screws here towards the left, three screws toward the right of my screen, and these two down the bottom middle. After that, I would start up here near one of these corners with a small, flat, plastic pry tool. I say plastic because they tend to scratch your computer less than a metal one will. And starting in one of these corners, I would gently, slowly pry up this bottom panel from the rest of your computer. Now, you don't want to put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Just keep it on the outside, go nice and slow. And if you get stuck in a section and you can't proceed anymore in that direction, go to the other side, start there, and, and continue around. Once you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your computer projects, there'll be a link above. Also below in the description, it'll show you all the tools and supplies and accessories that I recommend for my viewers. Now, before I do anything in a computer, I always either remove or at least unplug the battery. Computers are safest to work on when as little power as possible is running through them. So I'll show you how to remove it and unplug it now. Now, here's your battery down here. It's held down by four screws all along the top edge, and you can see them right here, M2X4. That's what kind of screw it is and the location with this uh, white arrow here. So you've got one here in this corner, one here toward the middle, one here toward the right, and then one up here in that corner. So that's how you would unscrew the battery. And then the battery plugs into the motherboard right here. Now, as with most cables and cords in a computer, try not to pull on the wires as much as possible. Try just to get it around the plug. Uh, now, this one was a little hard. There's a section right here in the middle. You'll see it on your computer where you can put a pry tool there and, and, and press it out, but those are only so effective. So unfortunately, what I would recommend is grabbing these cables as close to the port and the plug as possible and pulling a little bit while at the same time pushing out there and that's how I would get that battery plug out. Okay, so now that the battery has been removed or at least unplugged, we can proceed deeper into the computer. So right here on the left side of my screen towards the middle, right under your Wi-Fi card and your fan, this is gonna be your only M.2 PCIe X4 uh, Gen 4 uh, solid state drive port right here. So to access this, as you can see, there's a little black metal guard on top of it with a screw right there in the middle. So you undo that screw, this guard will come off, and that screw is also holding down your solid state drive. This is a smaller 2230 solid state drive, uh, but that's how you would get the solid state drive out of this port right here. So again, this takes Gen 4 solid state drives. I will have all the solid state drive specs below in the description if you wanna look for your own replacement. Uh, but I also will have a link above and below in the description, it'll be a list of all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model computer. And I'll try to have a good variety of solid state drives in there. I'll try to have uh, at, at least one 2230, the smaller solid state drive. Uh, so if you guys are just looking to stock, replace what's broken, I'll have that in there. But I'll also try to have some larger 2280s. Um, this computer maxes out at about two terabytes. So I'll try to have a larger one terabyte upgrade option, a two terabyte upgrade option, or some smaller uh, replacement options. And I always recommend, guys, in any computer maxing out your solid state drive and, and your RAM, uh, these are large portions of the speed factor of your computer. So it's a pretty easy way to increase your computer's performance. I'll have another video link below in the description. Um, I'll also put it as the end video after this one is done showing you uh, what information you need to upgrade your RAM. And I guess the last thing to shout out about this kind of operation getting in here to the solid state drive is if you are replacing or upgrading your solid state drive, you're gonna probably want to install an operating system onto the new one after you install it. 
Uh, so I'll have a couple video links below. There'll be tutorials, one showing you how to install Windows 10, one showing you how to install Windows 11. But this is how you get inside this model, access your solid state drive. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and share if this helped you out, if you think it can help someone else out. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this, or if you just want to keep me on hand to answer any of your future computer questions. I do try to answer all questions throughout my channel at least a couple times a day. Also, feel free to check out the related link section below in the description. From time to time, I do try to add things in there that I think will help you uh, with your general computer life, make it more productive, more enjoyable. So thanks again for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.